Free tropical vacation. Get your free tropical vacation. Lifetime supply of coffee. Just take this short survey. Free iPads for the first five people to respond to this message. Did you believe us? If it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. On the internet, this piece of wisdom has never been more true. That's why you and your team need to apply a whole lot of skepticism when it comes to online requests and offers. It might be a pitch to buy something or join an exclusive club. Maybe it's a cool video to check out, bank account issues to fix. Lots of times it's a contest or sometimes a request to donate after a natural disaster hits. We've heard them all before. And whether these claims are made online or offline, never accept them at face value. The good news is, there is help online so you can figure out if something is as fishy as it seems. Here are a few tips that will go a long way. Want to know if a story, photo, or one of those heartbreaking email forwards is real? Look it up at Snopes.com. Have you or your team been approached to make a donation to a charity? Visit CharityNavigator.org to look them up. Nobody wants to be manipulated or tricked. The criminals behind online scams don't win with technical genius. They just trick people into thinking they're friends or the neighborhood bank. If you get a suspicious email from a friend, send them a text. Ask if it was them. It never hurts to check. On Facebook, we're all used to the sponsored ads on the side of the page. There are also sponsored posts that show up right in your timeline. Same goes for Twitter. They're fine. But people need to know the difference between liking or retweeting a product and doing the same for a friend's post or tweet. Knowledge is power. Online too. We're not saying you should freak out and unplug your computer. That never helps. Better to use common sense and be a bit skeptical. When it comes to the net, it's better to think and verify before you sign up or click through. For more digital parenting advice, visit foci.org slash parenting.